As far as using an ALP appliance on a seven-year-old who needs expansion, I would have to really take a look at the case. For people who need a high volume of expansion, I would define that as like more than three or four millimeters. Another appliance is gonna be necessary because the appliance is not really gonna achieve that amount of expansion unless you are using the appliance for a long period of time. The ALF appliance will also require much more frequent adjustments, a lot of visits to get a small amount of expansion. In one of the cases where I actually will use the ALF appliance is if kids, especially seven, eight-year-olds, where they have a severe amount of crowding, where literally you'll see like teeth upon teeth, where we may not actually be able to like have room to introduce another removable appliance. It literally like won't fit in there. In those particular cases, sometimes we will start with an ALP appliance because it's like very small. It's easy to get in there and get that expansion so we can at least get to the point where we can make other appliances that will fit. That's one of my fav favorite times to use an ALP appliance. But in most cases, I don't find myself using an ALP appliance because of the amount of effort it requires to get a small amount of expansion. There are many other appliances where we can get more expansion more easily. The other thing about the ALP appliance is it's a little tiny wire that tucks behind the lower front teeth. It's not an appliance that it's really easy to work a bite plane onto it. So with cases where we're doing expansion on kids, I know we want to control how the jaws are coming together and posturing at rest. That's not really possible with the ALF appliance. So in most of cases, we are using space appliances, which is like a Schwartz appliance that we've developed. We use twin block appliances.